Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be explaining variable twin turbos. Now what I mean by variable is that one turbo is going to be a smaller size than the other turbo. There's going to be a small one and a large turbo. Now this is popular in applications with uh, diesel engines because with a diesel engine you're going to have a low revving engine. You're not going to have much uh, exhaust flow at low RPMs but you're going to want um, a large turbo for a lot of boost at the higher RPMs. So by using a smaller turbo for the lower RPMs, you can have a better uh, boost across the entire rev range. So what we've got going on here, we've got a four cylinder engine. Um, here's our large turbo, here's our small turbo. Uh, two critical things for this to work are these two bypass valves. We've got one for the intake and one for the exhaust. Um, so we're just gonna kinda go through the low RPM, mid RPM, and high RPM and talk about what happens during each. So at low RPM, all of the boost is driven by the single turbo. You've got a limited amount of exhaust gases, so you want to send them uh, to a smaller area so that you can increase the velocity of that exhaust gas and spool up this turbo and create boost. So, how is that done? Well, both bypass valves are going to be closed. So your air is going to come in through the intake, it's going to come through the larger uh, exhaust, or turbocharger, which won't be spooling, um, and then it's going to come through here and it's going to go through your small turbo, that's where it'll compress, and then it'll go through the intercooler and into the engine. So once the exhaust comes out of the engine, it's forced to go through this small turbo because this exhaust bypass valve is closed. So it comes through the small turbo, uh, then it goes through the larger turbo, um, and it's not enough exhaust to spool it up, so it really isn't doing anything but just going through it, uh, and then out your muffler. Now, when we get to a mid-RPM, this exhaust bypass valve is going to start to open. So what's going to happen is that exhaust gas, instead of all of it having to go through this turbo, some of it is going to start to pass and go through this larger turbo. So this larger turbo is going to pre-compress the intake. This intake bypass valve is still going to be closed, so that pre-compressed mixture is going to go, or air is going to go to the small turbo, which will compress it further, then send it through the intercooler into the engine, back out, and the process will repeat. So finally, for your higher RPM, basically both of these bypass valves are going to be fully open and essentially all of the compression is going to be done by the larger uh, turbo. So you're going to have your exhaust come out um, and it's going to have the option of going through uh, either this small turbo or directly to the larger turbo since this bypass valve is open. Now because this turbo is so small, it's restrictive with a high amount of flow trying to go through it, so the air is going to take the easier path which will be to this larger turbo. So it'll spool up this larger turbo, you'll have a lot more boost coming in, um, and then that air can flow directly uh, using this bypass valve here. Instead of going through the small turbo, it can just go directly past it and into your intercooler. Um, and so the air is just going to take the easiest path there, so it's not going to be going through this uh, turbo here. Um, and then the process is just going to repeat itself, so you're going to have a lot of boost at a higher RPM. So essentially what you're doing with this is maximizing your boost across the entire rev range. And of course there are other ways of accomplishing this than this method here, um, one of which is a variable, variable geometry turbocharger, which I will get into soon. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.